Chapter 51, Jeremiah, verse 11. That's where we left off on the previous video. Arrows, shields, all in association with this rising of the spirit kings of Medes that we described, at least from the biblical dictionary's point of view, as having something to do with a northern Aryan nation. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and see what happens before this in verse 11. And I want you to understand that it's exactly what I'm telling you, that we're going to have the destruction of commercial Babylon, which is going to be symbolized at one place, New York City, off the coast. New York City is symbolic commercial Babylon. All right? Here's a good telling of commercial Babylon being symbolic. And we're going to see verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's the Statue of Liberty. What is the Statue of Liberty holding its hand? It's holding a golden cup. It's holding a torch. But if you look at the torch closely, the torch is golden and it is fire. And you could describe that fire as that very same fire, smoke, and brimstone that I'm telling you is not our father. That's symbolic of this fallen God of this world. Listen to the description here. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. What is the Statue of Liberty? The Statue of Liberty is called a Lucifer. Look it up. Google it. Check it out. It means enlightened light bearer in which all of those translate to Lucifer even on that show um, decoded Brad Meltzer's or whatever that's exactly what they said in which that show is used to throw you off of course by the way everybody knows that but that's exactly what they said that they said the Statue of Liberty is a Lucifer well that's exactly what this verse says Babylon hath been a golden cup in Lucifer's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's exactly what it's telling you. So we find out here that this commercial Babylon symbolized at one place, New York City, where we see off the coast is this Lucifer holding this golden fiery cup in his hand, which is symbolic of this commercialism, this materialism that all of these nations have become drunken over. And now they're so concerned about their welfares, their material welfares and their earthly riches that they have bowed the knee to the new world order so that they could keep their earthly riches so that they could keep their things and their merchandise because if they didn't, they were told it would all be taken away. All of it. And they have the power to do that because it's their creation in the first place. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Check that song out, How, by Florence and the Machine. You'll get a deeper view. Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Well, they don't plan on healing Babylon. They say it right here. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. So what we find out is that before this arrival of this northern nation in association with these spirit kings of the Medes, we're going to have the destruction, not only destruction, but sudden destruction of Babylon. Time that up to Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. That's the millstone. Now. Let's look over here. This is going to be Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 41. You think that I was kidding to you about, you know, these kings of the Medes being associated with an Aryan nation for the north? I'm not. Neither is Jeremiah. Behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not shew mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea. And they shall ride upon horses, every one put in array like a man to the battle against thee, O daughter Babylon. Well, that's the arrival of the locust, nothing short. And it's describing it as being a northern Aryan nation that is going to be cruel and merciless. And their voice is going to be like the sea. That's the abyss. 